I'll admit right off the bat that the title of this video is misleading. Of course you can tell if your girlfriend's not black. Just look at her. But that's not the question. The question is, if your girlfriend's not black, how would you know if she's self-hating? Here's what I mean. Let's say you had a Jewish girlfriend. I think most of us are aware of the stereotypical Jewish nose, which is a nose that is quite pronounced on the face. Not all Jewish people have this type of nose, but a lot of them do. Just as not all black people have kinky hair, but a lot of us do. Let's say you were dating Barbara Streisand. She has a nose that is common among her racial heritage, which is Jewish. Let's say she got a nose job to give herself a nose that is more typical of Germans. Let's also say that she does not tell you about this nose job, nor can you tell that she's had one. Sometimes you can tell when someone's had a nose job, and sometimes you can't. And according to some of the people here on YouTube, if you change one of your racial features, you're self-hating. So she would qualify as being self-hating. But how would you know? You wouldn't unless there were some other indicator of it. For example, if she saw a group of Jewish people with big noses and she said, Oh my God, they need to get nose jobs. They're so ugly like that. But if she just got her little nose job and never made any disparaging comments about people of her race and just went on about her business and her life, you would not know she was self-hating. It's for this reason that I was asking for some other indicator that black women who perm their hair are self-hating other than the hair. You can look at most black women and tell whether or not they've had their hair processed or not. You are judging black women to be self-hating based on the fact that you can see and you can recognize that they've made a change. So I'm looking for something that can prove a black woman is self-hating if you could not see that she had a perm. When other races of women change their features, most of the time you can't tell because they get features that you expect them to have. Therefore, you don't even question if they're self-hating or not. White people's lips, on the average, are not going to be as full as black people's lips are on the average. So if a white woman with thin lips gets her lips enlarged, what she's saying is, I do not want the lips that I naturally have. I want different lips. When a black woman changes the texture of her hair, she's saying, I don't want the texture of hair I have naturally. I want a different texture. These two scenarios are exactly the same. I know some people try to act like they're different using a logical fallacy called special pleading, but they're the same. If you consider changing a feature on oneself to be self-hating, then it's self-hating for everybody. Don't pick and choose which is self-hating and which isn't. That's just like the arbitrary morality that I made my other video about. Either you have a feature or you don't. Either you changed yourself or you didn't. So in closing, if black women who perm their hair are self-hating, I want proof of it other than the hair.